like I told you, it's not over till it's over. And yes, it's not going to be over soon because, yes, we saved the best for the last. And we got man like Maxino Ezaza, who was born 4th July in Wari Delta State. Wari! Street. He said not street. Yeah. As, as a first child from a family of five, he is a rapper, songwriter, singer, and co-owner of the movement, D19 Official. He kicked off music career in 2005 with a group of three male consisting of Great Adams, Champion Ikman, and himself made up the Southsiders. After the crew split it up, Maxino started recording his solo projects with Frankie Free and Toxic A, which later was his in-house producers. Afterwards, he recorded the monster hit single, yes, Naso Adi for Lekki Ekbe. Hey, 2 a.m. They could track my plug. Hey. He don't wait for no clear. Hey, hey. Mopo Sefi go start for yeah. Hey. And it was featuring, <laughs> and this is featuring Ace rapper Vector the Viper. And Maxino is still, is still there to release more outstanding content to grace the hip hop scene. Maxino is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. And we can't help but scream. <laughs> That's my thing. What's good, brother? What's good, man? Good to have you in the studio, man. Good to have you out of Lekki Ekbe. <laughs> you're not in VI. You're on, you're on the island. How does it feel to be on the island? Yeah, you don't come up for Lekki. Yeah, we feel safe, yeah? Yeah. Popo know they stand for J. I'm going to go keep out for the first time, cool. That's <laughs> All right, so let's talk about your sound. Let's talk about your music. Obviously, you, you're one of the people that is still keeping hip hop really real, especially in this part of the world. Yeah, now, a lot a of people, deal. you know, find it very hard to, you know, relate to hip hop, especially in this day and time. They feel like, ah, we want I to listen to Bangalore music, we want to dance. There's too much problem for me to be hearing rap. That rap, they make this left side of my head, they pain me. Mm -hmm. You know, people have different complaints when it comes to rap. Yeah. How do you um, tend to stay consistent and relevant in this industry with your style of music? The type of music that I put out, and, mm. yeah, and concerning what people want to listen to. Mm. You're saying something like you're not going to be boxed because you. Yeah, 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 you have mm. different yeah, styles. Yeah, yeah. 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 And if you if you listen to the type of music that's been coming out lately, we hear drill type of music, mm. we hear trap, so we hear trap from. Mm. Understand? But now I'm trying to like, okay, is this what they want to listen to? Let's put some sense into that. Mm. Let's put some moti mm. on the streets. <laughs> All right. Well, honestly speaking, there. there's actually something really, really special about you. Um, and I think your purpose, at, at least for me, yeah. is that you you make rap digestible. And if mm. I'm not joking when he says that rap gives me, it gives me a headache. Yeah. It does. Yeah. But something about yours, it's still rap. It's not watered down or like yeah. loose or lullaby or, or bad. But I can, I, I really, like, I dig it. It makes yeah. sense, just your your style, your flow, and all of that. It's really special. And I mm. just, I pray to God that you don't lose it because I'm enjoying it. I can no, finally no. say I have rap, Trust me, rap once you listen in my to phone. Cold. Yeah. But, cold. you know. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, cold, cold, right? cold. That's my favorite jam. I want to know though because you don't. You, I mean, I've I've seen you around walking around the office. You look really quiet, like you don't have stress. But when you get on that on your studio, it's, you kind of sound like a beast. So is this like a what's that word when they have like such a face for Beyonce? Like you have a, a alter ego. Like alter is it that like you have somebody else that comes into the studio that's not this when person? When when music is involved. Yeah. Certified. Certified. That's what does that right. even mean? <laughs> that, that is AKA the certified killer. AKA, AKA the plug of all plugs. AKA the OG. You know that she's old for You know that, you know that, you know that, you know that. You know that. You know that. Right. So when, um, we, when we hit the studio, it's like, okay, what does big guy to say to me? Mm. You understand? And I, okay, this is what I have to say to you. This is what the people need to hear then. Yeah, because it's not this quiet, it's not this chill. It's anger, it's aggressive. Like you yeah, want them to hear yeah, what they want to hear. Yeah, I really yeah, like yeah, that. All right, yeah. so let's talk. Let's talk about um, the music space for you. You know, what are right. the things you're actually doing differently? This is 2021. We all saw how 2020 did us. Yeah, mm. it yeah. didn't do us right, man. Yeah. 2020 didn't do us right. So mm. we saw all of that. And um, what are you doing differently in 2021 to you know better yourself? Oh, uh, man, I won't say okay. Me, um. I won't say 2020 didn't do me well. Okay, so say you speak for yourself, ah, darling. <laughs> you no, me? no, it's a general 2020, thing. 2020, no. 2020 like, was like a revolution for me. Oh, wow. Because it, it was like, do I got I got a record by a, a deal at 2019 that didn't turn out well. In mm. 2020, it was all shaky. And then, mm. so 2020, I actually learned how to record myself nice. by myself wow. via YouTube. 2020, oh, I did wow. that and I put that tape out all by myself. In my room. Wow. Wowzy. I have about 30 k streams on that thing. Whoa. I recommend Lekki Ekman. 2020. By yourself. By myself. Make you mm. make your money. All right. Make so 2020 was, so 2020, 2020 was 2020 was was 
Boy, that, wake yeah. up. Mm. Get, get that bag. Mm. So All right, what, so what, we're actually running out of time. But okay, yeah, shoot, shoot. I want to know your background, though. Like, when did you start doing this? Was it from high school, huh? like a kid? Like, you know, <laughs> well, like summarize it really quickly. All right, real so quick, okay, real, quick, real, quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. And while you're out there, just tell the fans where to find you and your music as well. So okay, just do this. MySpace Maxino mm. at Twitter, Instagram, M V X I N O, mm -hmm. Facebook, Maxino Izaza. I'm always on Instagram. If you write me on Instagram, I'll see your DM. <laughs> All right, me. so just, just answer a question. Okay, so yeah, when, how, when did you start your skill? Music, like, music's been all my life. Let's say 2004, 2005. Okay. First single recorded in studio, 2006. Mm -hmm. All righty. Yeah. All righty. Yeah. Thank you so much for being with us, Maxino. Oh, and had yes, more time. of course, you guys are going to see my favorite jam of 2020, 2021. I don't think any song can beat that song like here, but it's still my favorite. Yes, yeah. boy, it is a wrap for me today, but thank you for watching. Join conversation on social media with the hashtag tea time or tweeted us at plus tv africa remember you can catch up on our previous episodes including this one and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our youtube channel at plus tv africa you can also watch tea time on outer tv and in london on ben television a big thank you goes out to my guest dt uzo and of course man like maxino and of course my co-anchors um if i'll lower all my and emerald who had to step down due to social distancing and for keeping a jiggy with me of course and the entire production team thank you for watching plus tv africa's tea time my name is Ife Oshunke.